sold hundreds of my gourds, if not thousands, and Cheney was the fault. They always called me when they sold a gourd, and they, uh, they uh, were very good to me, and I met their son, Justin, when he was just a little boy, so I've seen him grow up, and I met his wife when they were going together and when they got married. But I want to let you know that Cheney, especially when she saw the bird feeder, she would call me right away and she was real happy that she sold it. <laughs> <laughs> many, many words. <coughs> so I'm going to miss her a lot. She was always very good to me. So is John. I think we're very good friends. Hi. That's about all I got to say. Maybe some people here have bought my bird feet. But I can't do it anymore. My hands are in bad shape. That's about it. ways. People know her. Various aspects of her personalities. She's very complex, but also very simple. And I didn't really intend on speaking tonight. I thought this would be a meeting for people to share their memories, and that people would come away with a fuller picture of who she was. So I thank you for coming, and I hope everybody has an opportunity to say something. I only wanted to read a poem from a dear friend who was part of our lives for many years, named Bob Feldman. He was born in Patterson, New Jersey, he lives in Florida today. But he grew up in the, under the influence of Lewis Ginsburg and Lewis's son, Alan, who we got to know. He was an inspiration for us all. And so Bob is still very much of that genre and of that era you know that mindset? He's a bebop poet. He's a beatnik. Love him, man. And he, Cheney, and I had many experiences. We lived many years together in Bisbee. <coughs> Bob wrote me a little poem. I think very aptly describes kind of environment and thinking in the lives that we lived during those years. He titled it, Shaney Bird. <laughs> Her goddess gut laugh would clear the air, would better define the art being discussed. Dots hurled up against the wall Masking tape stripes, abstract expressionist colors exploding into Eric Satie chords, 
and all those painters would gather around Shiny Bird, kids waiting for ice cream. And yes, even the poets checked out the bop from her piano, tuned to flattened fifths. John, do you guys always have to listen to Dylan and the Dead? Wow, we cleared our heads, considered the voice. Nancy was right. There really was jazz. Splendid cosmic candles all around us. Why hang on to borders? Last night, Carmen said, we were all kids together, once upon a time in Bisbee, the merriest pranksters, painted faces, parading down Brewery Gulch, celebrating April Fools, reading Equal House astrology charts, debating Henry Miller, Dante, and Gurdjieff. Whatever blew into her open window, wherever it was, Shaney served us all tea. Now, her music drifts in from some other place. Where she is sure of, and we must trust her voice. We always have. Why not this time? When here in this theater, right now, she has dropped the curtain, left us here, all of us here, this sister would want us to move on, to create our next possibility, brief candles that we are. I'm amazed I got through that without crying. <laughs> Rob and I'm Kristen. We uh, have known John Shaney for 20 years, coming this June, and uh, I think my husband wants to start this out, and we have some favorite memories we'd like to share with you all. Kristen, I moved here in 93 uh, and uh, moved to uh, Tucson for the adventure and, of course, for the birds. And, and uh, upon returning our U-Haul, we looked across the street on Grant, and there was the Wild Bird Store. It was still open. It was uh, 7.30 at night, and it was still open for business half hour late. And it had an elegant trogan on the side, which caught our... Yeah, the elegant trogan, of course. So we, uh, we met the Freemans and started a 20-year relationship. Um, so we're all going to miss, uh, miss Shaney for a lot of things. Um, I think uh, I'll miss Shaney for her smile. I've been known to smile myself, and she could give me a run for my money. And uh, you knew that uh, no matter what kind of a day Shaney was having, if you walked into that store or walked into their home, she would give you the biggest smile and a big, a big hug to go with it. And that's probably what I'll miss the most about Shaney. I'm going to miss her a lot. <laughs> We wrote down some of our favorite memories, and uh, I just didn't want to miss any of them, so we wrote them down. Uh, this looks longer than it is. It'll take a couple minutes. Uh, one of our many things that we admired about Shaney was her perseverance <coughs> and strong will at everything she set out to accomplish. She had so many talents. I think her perseverance started at a very young age for Shaney. We had got Shaney a funny birthday card one year that seemed to be made just for her. The front of the card showed a little girl skillfully climbing up on top of the kitchen counters with a very determined look on her face, hell-bent on reaching the cabinets above her. Inside the card, it said something to the effect of, Go ahead, break the rules, it's your birthday. When she read the card, she broke out into this great mischievous laughter and confessed that she used to get into trouble all the time for climbing the counter. We sure will miss that laugh of hers. We loved her mischievous sense of humor, too. One example of this was when Shaney and I thought it would be fun to play a song together, her on the piano and me on my violin. We carefully thumbed through her music book, selecting a slower, more innocent piece of music that I felt 
I could keep up with as I had gotten a bit rusty over the years as I confided to her. As we started to play, and before I knew it, Shady changed the tempo to double time. <laughs> like a racehorse tearing out of the starting gate, she instantly converted this mellow melody into a piano pounding, boogie woogie rendition Shady style, leaving me and my violin at the starting gate. <laughs> Many times, after meals with the Freedmans, we'd be sitting around the table, usually in deep conversation, not noticing that Shaney had slipped away until all of a sudden, an impromptu boogie-woogie concert would erupt from the living room. She could play some mean boogie-woogie that could give Jerry Lee Lewis a run for his money. What a gifted musician she was. Shaney was like a cat. No matter what life threw at her, she always landed on her feet, never letting tough times get the best of her, always persevering through them. She literally nursed John back from the brink, from not one, but two nearly fatal motorcycle accidents. She was a real trooper, too. I couldn't believe at some of the extreme places John would take them camping and four-wheeling. A few times getting stuck in a wash or stranded out in the middle of nowhere, she would just laugh and shake her head when John would tell us of their hair-raising adventures. One time, we all decided to go camping in February oh. to the cold, remote canyons of the Huachuca Mountains to find the winter cubbies of the elusive Montezuma quail. I don't think any of us gave it a second thought as to how dang cold it was going to get that night. The next morning, we all woke up with frost on our sleeping bags. We endured a lot together on our mini bird watching trips, but we always had a great time. We just want to thank you, Shaney and John, for being such a caring and wonderful friend <coughs> these last 20 years. Your strength and compassion helped Rob and I through some very tough times. Our hearts are all hurting, Shaney was taken too soon, and we will miss her so much. She was truly a one-of-a-kind friend. We love you, Shady. We love you, John. gave me the greatest gift that anybody could. And she made it possible for me to dance. And she played the music, um, and I did the steps, but it was a dance that we did together because we were doing what we both loved the most. And Gurdjieff reminds us um, to love those who love work, and Shani loved everything in this life. I don't know anything she didn't approach with love. And I love her for that because she taught me how I'd like to be. I'd like to be able to say yes in the way that she did. So she left us with something um, very precious. Um, I feel uh, really grateful for what I've been given and I feel it's um, a real responsibility to, to keep on going with, with what she showed me. Mm -hmm. Thank you, girl. Mm -hmm.